Hello YouTube, I'm excited to show you my latest Lego creation which I've been working on the last few weeks and this is a Lego creation based on the US Army's M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicle and I spent a lot of time making sure I've added as many authentic details to the creation as possible and making it um, very functional and playable. Uh, and then let me just, and in this video I'm going to be running through all of its really cool features. The most um, important features are all the opening hatches, which allows you to uh, pose Lego figures in them. Like right now I have a couple of Lego Star Wars figures which I can put in here. And as you can see, this is where the driver's hatch opens up and allows you to put a driver in place there. And then the driver can also be placed inside the vehicle, which I'll be showing you later. Then you have the turret of the vehicle. It can rotate 360 degrees. You can adjust the angle of the gun elevation. And then we have two hatches for the turret, one for the commander and one for the gunner, which allows you to pose more minifigures outside of the turret like so. And then you can raise the tow rocket launcher like so. Then near the rear, you have a hatch for the infantry to reload the tow rockets when the turret is out or has launched both of their two tow rockets. And then the tracks on this vehicle run very smoothly. Then there's also a simple suspension system which allows enough flexibility in the track to run over small obstacles like so. Then in the rear again, we have a rear hatch which opens up to allow you to put in infantry inside the vehicle. Then to make it easy to access the inside of the vehicle, I made it modular where you can pull off all of these panels to gain access to inside of the vehicle. And a lot of time was spent on designing this part of the creation to have as much space as possible while still looking aesthetically pleasing. And this is where you can place all your Lego figures. And I'll be spending the next couple minutes of the video loading it up with all the Lego figures that you can put in there. Right now I'm using a lot of Star Wars minifigures because I have a lot of those on hand. And as you can see, there's enough space to put the minifigures um, posing accurately with um, weapons in hand. Then I also included a lot enough space to add backpacks to each figure um, if it requires, if the figures you have at home have backpacks to them. And as you can see, just in the ch inside the vehicle alone, you can put up to nine Lego figures, three being crew members and six being uh, armored infantry or uh, armed infantry. Let me put back all of these panels together. And as you can see, there's Look, they look pretty cool inside the vehicle, just like that. A couple more figures can be placed outside to make it look like it's, um, the gunner and the commander are outside of the turret. And you can already see that there are a lot of cool features to this tank which will allow for a lot of hours of play and um, if you do stop motion at home you can this would definitely be a fun vehicle to have for stop motion let me open up the panels again so you can get a really good close look inside the vehicle
then there's the driver, then here's the gunner, and this would be the commander. And this Lego creation was based on, um, was scaled to be 135 scale to go along with my Abrams tank if you haven't seen that YouTube video. And that's my M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. I'll be putting a link at the bottom of the video to where you can ask for um, instructions for this vehicle. Um, then I'll also be selling this LEGO creation as a kit and it'd be a good time right now to start ordering up kits if you wish to have them by Christmas. And thank you for watching this YouTube video. See you next time.